Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Our Green Acres. It's Ben, I'm out here in the garden today. I guess you can tell I just got done picking our sweet corn. This year we went with a variety of peaches and cream. It's a mixture of white and yellow. It's really, really sweet, so we're gonna try that this year. But you can see I got I got seven bucket fulls of corn. Basically, I filled up a bucket on each row. I had seven rows, they were about, I don't know, 40 feet long. But y'all seen the other videos of the garden coming along, so. We're gonna go ahead and process this today and get you some footage of that. We're gonna have to shuck it and silk it and probably gonna just gonna pressure can it all. Most of the time we just pressure can everything. And I've got a previous video we did last year. Of, I'll leave you a link to that at some point, probably in the description and maybe a card in the video. But it shows how we pressure can our corn and it's not a exactly how to, you know, it's just the way we do it and it works for us. But anyway, stick around today and we'll uh, get some more footage of the corn process. Thank y'all like always for watching. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Some of it could have stayed on the stalk a little longer. It was the pests were getting into it, and I went ahead and got it. I think I think I'm starting to have raccoons come by, and the worms are getting in it. So I went ahead and picked some of it a little early, I think, but it'll still work. I think this is our third bucket. We've got seven buckets. I'm probably gonna finish up and she's gonna go ahead and go on in the house and wash what we've got. There goes the crop duster. I'm not <laughs> sure what he's spraying. He's been flying over constantly for three or four days now. Now we're gonna take this in. She is gonna wash it and go ahead and get started cutting it off the off the air. And then we're gonna um, I think we're gonna mix in some peppers. I got a bunch of banana peppers picked, and then we're gonna pressure can all that. We still probably have 1,500 ears left in the garden. That was I could definitely tell was way immature. So probably another week, week and a half, I'll pick again. Won't be as much as this time. We did a canning video on how we pressure can our corn. We're about to have to go watch it because we have already forgot <laughs> how we canned the corn last year. We got a pretty good idea. Yeah. But anyway, 3rd of July and we're having corn day. Peaches and cream. And you, can, you can see the different coloration to it. It's got some light colored corn with the yellow. And it seal, uh, it cleans really easy too. The silks, it's real easy to clean it. Worm damage. Yeah, the critters were about to just get, get bad. We're in here in the kitchen. We're mixing banana peppers, corn. We've got a little jalapeno in there and a bell pepper. This is enough. We've got one batch on the canner right now, or in the canner. It's, uh, we've got nine pints going. This should be enough to make another nine pints. We're hoping to get four batches done today. We're just cutting and chopping and cutting off corn here just as fast as we can go. We've been doing it all for, I don't know, hours, things like. I've been starting at seven o'clock this morning. It's now almost noon. But like I say, it takes about an hour to do a batch. Hot stuff coming through. Okay, y'all, it's July the 4th now. Just finished up the last six quarts of corn. We got six yesterday and we had, we wound up with 16 pint, pints. We should have had 18, but we had two failures. Jars broke. I'm not really sure why. They're just bad jars or what. But anyway, we've got, so if you do all total, that would be 40 pints. Counting the quarts is two pints. So that's a pretty good bit of corn for a lot of work for two days with the pressure canner. 
We also, we gave away probably 70, 80 years of corn. And like I mentioned earlier, we still got several years left in the garden. So it's been a really good corn year. But we sure do appreciate you watching. Look, look us up on Instagram at Our Green Acres and the outdoor section at OGA Outdoors. And we will catch you on the next one.